Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. It's now running two miles. The first one's for a fallen South Dakota first responder who lost his life in the line of duty. And tonight I'm running for fallen Chief Deputy Ken Prorock. He worked with the Moody County Sheriff's Office in South Dakota and is on a watch was February 2nd, 2024. He lost his life after he was struck by a vehicle which he was pursuing. He was 51 years old at the time of his passing, serving eight years of service with the Moody County Sheriff's Office in South Dakota. He leaves behind a wife, a son, and two daughters. We also know that we've had a lot of contacts from this um, area, from this passing. We know there's a lot of people watching tonight. We pray this one helps you out. If you are part of the family, sorry, um, this blind flag will be run on the sign. If you are part of the family, we'll be presenting. We'll be get sending it to you after the run. We're going to be doing seven laps around the track with my school, which is the equivalent of, equivalent of, a, of one mile in his honor. Um, tonight, we're going to be joined by the Winter Springs Police Department, the Fort Fish Wildlife Conservation, my family, and other supporters. Um, before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer. And our whole family and apartment through the hard time are going through, then I'll be on my way. Those that are tuning in tonight, tonight Zechariah running his first of two miles this evening, this first mile tonight in honor of fallen Chief Deputy Ken Prorock. He served with the Moody County Sheriff's Office in South Dakota, tragically losing his life on February the 2nd, 2024. He lost his life after he was struck and killed by a driver of a vehicle that was in the process of being pursued. Chief Deputy Ken Prorock was 51 years old at the time of his passing, having served almost eight years of service as a member of the Moody County Sheriff's Office in South Dakota, sadly leaving behind a loving family that includes a wife, a son, as well as two daughters. Zechariah completing his first of seven laps tonight, which is one mile to honor the life of fallen Moody County Chief Deputy, Ken Prorock. We're always appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside our youth runners. Tonight, helping Zechariah honor fallen Chief Deputy Ken Prorock, we got a member of the Winter Springs Police Department, which is our hometown agency, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, also here tonight. Also here helping honor fallen Chief Deputy Ken Prorock, we got our friends from the Freedom Flag Foundation and Zechariah's little sister running and walking tonight as well to help honor this fallen hero. Again, Zechariah tonight running one mile to honor the life of fallen Chief Deputy Ken Prorock of the Moody County Sheriff's Office in South Dakota, who tragically on February the 2nd, 2024, lost his life after he was struck and killed by a driver of a vehicle that was being pursued. Chief Deputy Prorock was 51 years old, having served nearly eight years of service as a member of the Moody County Sheriff's Office, and leaves behind a living family that includes a wife, a son, as well as two daughters. Zechariah now completing his second of seven laps to honor this fallen hero here this evening. For every mile that our youth runners complete, they carry a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero that they run to honor tonight. Zechariah carrying the blue line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family of fallen Chief Deputy Ken Prorock, along with the note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like more information on how you can be a part of this mission, you can visit running the number four heroes.org. 
Uh, Zachariah completes lap number three, begins lap number four. I'm going to go silent. I'm going to remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the life of this hero tonight. Fallen Chief Deputy Ken Prorock. From all of us at Running for Heroes, as well as from our friends at the Freedom Flag Foundation, our hope and prayers at this run tonight honors Chief Deputy Ken Prorock well. We hope it brings comfort to his family and to his agency. We want to take this time to thank Chief Deputy Prorock for his years of service to his community.
Zach Riney, final words tonight for the family of fallen chief deputy Ken Prorock. To the whole family of fallen chief deputy Prorock, his family in the Moody County Sheriff's Office in South Dakota, his wife, son, two daughters, and all of his friends. We hope all be here very soon through this loss. Um, South Dakota is a state that does not lose first responders nearly at all. I can't remember the last time I even had to run for one other than Chief Deputy Pro Rock. At the same time, I've had countless interviews with departments around that area. Um, he seemed like a very loved man and I know that a lot of people in Moody County and in nearby big cities are going through a very rough time through this loss. Uh, we pray all of them stay safe. Um, South Dakota should not be under the headlights like this. Um, we just pray this helps his family from here in Florida to show that this is a national progress of comfort for you. Um, if you are part of the family, we're sending his blind flag very soon along with the handwritten note. We hope that just adds on to the comfort you feel through this run. At this time, Bobby and I join us today, 21 second moment in silence, just like the 21 gun salute. Each second dedicating one amazing thing, Chief Deputy Pro Rock during his life. Following this day of prayers to this time, please join us in this 21 seconds. Heavenly Father, tonight we did a one mile run for a fallen chief deputy out of South Dakota. I pray you watch over his whole family and department through this loss. I pray you guide them to comfort and safety. And I pray you guide them to events like these to help continue to help them heal. God, I pray you watch over all first responders in his department. And I pray in Jesus' name and pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this one mile. We still have one more to do. So please stay tuned for that mile. We both have a great and safe night, especially for your first responder working tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.